In the context of, of this new product, we, we are really talking about people who are uh, both uh, training and fine-tuning models. And, and these are things which are, are really uh, I- impactful for customers because uh, just to take an example of uh, one of our early adopters for the new product release, it's a, co- a content uh, company, uh, a Cora equivalent. And for, for example, if you look at them, uh, them being able to train a large language model, which is driving their end user business metrics, such as uh, user engagement, which is the most important thing for them, uh, just being able to use their custom data and uh, leverage it to improve their key business metrics and get these initiatives to market as, as quickly as possible with as few people as possible. Hi, this is your host, Sabdan Bhartia, and welcome to Let's Talk About AI. And today we have with us once again, Adit Madan, Director of Product Management at Alexio. Adit, it's great to have you on the show. Hi, Swapnil. Nice to be here. The theme of today's discussion is the new announcement that you folks are making today, which is new data platform for AI. But before we go deeper into this announcement, let's just refresh memories of our viewers what is Alexio all about? So, Apnil, uh, Alexio is a software-defined solution in the data infrastructure stack, uh, uniquely positioned at the intersection of compute and storage. And uh, what we do at this layer is we bring in efficiency and ease of access to data. So our existing customers are using Alexio to scale out uh, not just the capacity of the data platform, but also adopt a hybrid and multi-cloud strategy. In today's modern world, we kind of live in a like AI driven world, right? Whatever we do, even our small ring watch, it has, you know, machine learning capability. Even my cameras is tracking my face as you can see there. Uh, so uh, what does it mean in today's world? How far we have come? And then I would also love to talk a bit about, you know, generative AI, but let's, let's talk about m- model learning, machine learning, uh, all these things from the perspective of the announcement that you are making today? So, generative AI uh, shares a lot of uh, common uh, underpinnings with uh, what we were calling deep learning before. So, generative AI is actually based on a specific kind of deep learning technique, uh, and there's a new model, kind of model, which is called the transformer architecture, which is different from when we were previously talking about deep learning. We typically talk about things which are called convolutional uh, neural networks, RNNs, very common on the the computer vision side of things. So the the building blocks and the characteristics of uh, the models, whether it's uh, the deep learning kind of CNN, whether it's the deep learning kind of of transformer networks, which power the generative AI today, uh, both kinds of models, both kinds of models have similar demands from a system like Luxio. And then today I'm, I'm excited to share that uh, our early adopters of the new product are actually training all, uh, large language models on top of Luxio, which is based on the new transformer architecture and also uh, uh, the different kinds of CNNs, which are common for computer vision and in the autonomous driving industry. There was a time when we used to talk about, hey, every company should have, you know, uh, cloud strategy, every company should have software strategy, otherwise you will not survive. Do you think it is apt to say that today every company should have some form of AI strategy as well? Or you feel that no, AI, and when we talk about AI, of course, AI is a broad set, you know, it's hard to actually define what you mean by AI. Or you feel that no, there are only certain industries that need, or you feel like no, just the way we all have to move from software to cloud, AI should also be the core of your IT strategy. No, I, I, I do agree with that statement that AI does need to be co- at the core of the strategy for uh, everyone at this point, uh, g- given the, the impact that it's having, and, and especially with the advancements in AI recently, the, the impact to productivity all the way from, from engineers who are coding uh, to your support and sales team who is trying to, to debug what's happening with prospects the, the impact and the, it's so profound, it's such a big change in productivity that uh, AI in general needs to be uh, part of the core core strategy for, for every company out there right now. I, I do believe that. What is specific niche 
especially for enterprise customers that you are addressing, which you felt was lacking before this announcement? Yeah, so in, in, in the context of, of this new product, we, we are really talking about people who are uh, both uh, training and fine-tuning models. And, and these are things which are, are really uh, impactful for customers because uh, just to take an example of... Uh, one of our early adopters for the new product release. It's a, co- a content uh, company, uh, a Cora equivalent. And for for example, if you look at them, uh, them being able to train a large language model, which is driving their end user business metrics, such as uh, user engagement, which is the most important thing for them, uh, just being able to use their custom data and uh, leverage it to improve their key business metrics and get these initiatives to market as, as quickly as possible with as few people as possible. Uh, these are all of the things which are kind of driving the need for, for Luxia and uh, at the same time are also very impactful uh, for, for many, many companies in this space these days. You and I have talked about the cultural aspect earlier as well. Uh, when it's come to this announcement, what kind of teams are you targeting within organizations? Yeah, Swapnin, so when we've spoken before about Luxio and Luxio Enterprise, uh, we've been talking about the data and uh, data infra and platform folks within these large enterprises. So these would be people who serve uh, the data analysts within the organization, hundreds and even some in some of our cases, thousands of data analysts who are using the, the platform itself. Now, with, with this new new product, Aluxio Enterprise AI, uh, we are targeting uh, two, two segments and, and two personas in a way. One is within the large enterprises, which are our familiar customers, we are expanding uh, to the sister AI platform teams uh, within those organizations. So these are the folks who are serving the, the many data scientists within, within those organizations. And at the same time, we are also entering... A new market, a new market which tends to be a lot smaller in, in terms of the sizes of the enterprises and, and also the the size of the real data real estate that they have. And then this is typical, for example, I was mentioning autonomous driving before. So within those organizations, there tend to be specialized AI and training teams. So that's kind of the two personas, but uh, platform folks who are using a do-it-yourself uh, platform are the buyers of Luxio. There is a kind of gap in supply and demand of these folks. Uh, market is also changing. Talk a bit about how under-stressed organizations are to also be able to get on board with all these AI activities happening and how Alexio, in a way, make it easier, simpler, for so that organizations can deal with this either with a smaller team or free time of their teams to focus on other things that add a lot of business value to their organization. I feel like right now uh, we we all know that uh, given the importance, as we talked about, of uh, uh, AI and an AI strategy within the enterprise, that the knowledge and there's a lot of learning aspect to it on how to appropriately make, make use of the technology uh, and the infrastructure that is available right now. So, and that's why there's a lot of AI consultancy companies flourishing uh, as we speak. Now, the, the, the way that we are helping uh, with this journey is that as part of this learning journey for companies, there is a phase of uh, experimentation which is needed, uh, experimentation and fast iteration in, in trying out things like trying out uh, training new models, uh, uh, and seeing what the impact is going to be without without really a, a deep understanding uh, or without the certainty that people might have had in a more mature mature market so so what we help in in this case is by bringing efficiency to to the the infrastructure which is uh, empowering these applications and by allowing people to do more with less they are able to really uh, to achieve this fast iteration, which is of the utmost importance right now. Now, can we talk about the architectural or 
technology underpinning of uh, Alexio Enterprise AI, if you can just walk us through some of the core components, what it is comprised of. In Alexio Enterprise AI, we, we have a, a brand new uh, system architecture. We are calling it a distributed object store repository architecture. It is something which is very different from what we had uh, before. It's, it's uniquely designed, purposefully designed for the kinds of workloads uh, that we were talking about, uh, serving the needs of specialized uh, compute hardware. This architecture not just uh, scales out pretty much to the limits of, of a data center to provide, to solve the needs of the specialized compute hardware, but it also does not require a dedicated hardware to run on. So it, and it's available, something available on the specialized compute hardware itself and also exposes interfaces like uh, like a POSIX API and a REST API, which are required by different Python and PyTorch applications, commonly used compute engines in, in this space. Talk a bit about the state of market where when you, of course, you are coming with enterprise solutions, which does mean that there are a lot of takers, but uh, is it where, where, where we are, are we at a phase, phase where you feel there's a lot of education needed, you know, to, to show the value of these, or you're like, no, this is more or less like uh, we have moved to a phase where companies are demanding solutions. We don't have to invest any time in education or you know awareness about, hey, this can help you. Where are we? We are definitely at a stage in which we don't, don't need to educate uh, people uh, about the need uh, for the technology. In, in the space that we are talking about today and Aloxio Enterprise AI, the, the need for data access is... Uh, actually a a much more uh, well-established and well-understood problem. So as we started, uh, as we were incubating this and we were putting, uh, making this proposition to early adopters of the solution, we were were very pleasantly uh, encouraged by the, the response that we got and how easily understood this problem was. Before we wrap this up, can you also talk about how does today's announcement fit into all the offerings that you folks have? And if you can also talk a bit about the pricing model for this enterprise AI solution. So before today, we, we had a single enterprise commercial offering. Uh, we were calling it Aluxio Enterprise. And going forward, we are forking that off into what was called Aluxio Enterprise is now called called Aluxio Enterprise Data. And we are introducing a brand new product, which is based on the new architecture that I mentioned, and is specifically purposefully designed for the AI ML workloads that we just spoke about. This this platform uh, is available uh, in a subscription model. Uh, It's based on the amount of storage and concurrency that is demanded from the Luxio platform itself. Adit, thank you so much for taking time out today and of course, uh, discuss through this announcement. Also, I really appreciate your, your insight, your take on the larger AI, generative AI space. Thank you for all those insights. Thanks for the pragmatic approach there. And I would love to chat with you again. Thank you. Thank you, Sapnil. Enjoyed our conversation as always.